here after some cam let's get back into some modeling this one here is from michael um and michael uh was last week's video when i did a uh, like a, a lens reflector and i got a lot um I, a couple of people were not too happy with that video but it's fine um because i kind of uh I got a little, maybe a little bit of side. I did it in another way. Sometimes I get excited when I get to uh, to try to model things in a different way than than maybe the normal is. But that's all good. Uh, Michael is, has a part that is somewhat similar, um, in the sense that he's trying to do. He has a couple of images of a part. So he has this part here. I'll give you another picture uh, that looks like that. And he would like to uh, to to if I could help him model that up. So let's do that. Um, and let's do it. Um, <laughs> let's do it another way. I, I just love, you know, if you like these videos, thumbs up. If you don't like them, it's okay to put the thumbs down. I'm okay with it. Um, you know, that's I drink scots at night, so uh, that's how I get over my 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 hurts feelings. It's <laughs> all good. Um, so the, the, when I did it last week, what I was trying to do was I'm just kind of like trying to show different ways to do things. Um, so what I did was I used the, um, the combined tool to remove material and kind of come up with, with another way to do something, just hoping people find it interesting. Uh, so this, this, let me try to do this better or in a different way. So when we're looking at, um, at Michael's part here, we can kind of see it has some outside shape here. Um, and I also want to talk, there's a hole in the center I might want to talk about. So what I wanted to do in this example that I think you might like hopefully find helpful is let's talk a little bit about design intent instead of, 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 of Lars free going off and, and doing things a little crazy. So when you're drawing something up uh, like this, let me just get the photo up. You could start talking about that. There's always going to be changes to parts and things like that. And that's maybe where design intent kind of like comes in. Um, so what I would probably do here is I will use the revolve, but you can control your design. So if I go in and I open up a new sketch here, I'm going to do that on the side view here. Um, and I'm just going to draw a line down here somewhere and, uh, let's make it 150 long. Now, right now, this line is kind of like floating around in space. And the reason I'm, I, I did it down here is because I actually want the midpoint to the origin, because again, this is going to be an attempt of doing design intent. So I'm going to click on the line and click on this origin here. And now that is in place here. I'm just going to drag the dimension down to the bottom. Uh, we're going to revolve around this line. So I could also create another line, alpha line, and create another line vertical up here as a control line. Let's make this one maybe 40 millimeters long like this. Um, these lines right now are actually only going to be used as references to drive our design. Um, so what I can do is I can click on a line, I can hit X to make them construction lines. You could also click up there. Um, and, and, and that means they will not really be used for, for any specific calculations, uh, but they could drive our sketch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, I'm going to find an arc and I'm going to select the center point arc. And uh, if you look next to my cursor, see how it gives me a direction to place center point. Be aware of this, that Fusion Exit gives you kind of like this feedback. Place center on point. So I'm going to select here, and then I'm going to select over on this point here, and it will start drawing up an arc. And I was going to place this. You could control the degrees uh, here. So I could just go up here. But I'm going to place it right here in space. It escaped my keyboard, and now that arc is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make that vertical between that point and this point. Right. So now what we have is that this dimension, the overall length of the part is actually controlling this endpoint. So if I decided to make this 100, that would control that. Um, and this height would kind of control the arc of this. If I made it 80, then it will change that up. Um, and if we make it 100, that will kind of change, you know, because the center point is here. So that depends on how sharp we want to make this whole thing. Okay, so so this is a, a really good way to to create really strong um, kind of creating models because you're kind of having 
some thought out behind your sketches. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to offset this because this is, I used the shell command before, but I don't want to do that. You could, but I'm not going to do that right now um, because I want to use the shell. So I'm going to hit O for offset and I'm going to offset this out to some kind of a, uh, a thickness. So let's do it minus five. Um, um, so we have the, the, the five millimeters right there. Um, and I could go ahead and, and close. Now you'll see that it's not closing off here. So you actually have also some, some tools in here that you maybe are not familiar with. I could actually extend uh, this out. Now when I did that extend, you will see that our dimension went away. The five millimeters, do you see that? If I undo control Z, just going back, see how we have the five here? Because this is an offset, but now where I'm using the extend to extend this one out here, I'm losing it because it's now not an offset true anymore because it actually has been modified. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead here and hit the alpha line. I'm gonna close this off, and then I'm actually gonna use that to reapply my five. And now that is black, okay? So what I have done now is I have, again, we have dimensions to control this whole thing here. So everything is fully defined and we have the sketch here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use the mirror command, and I'm just gonna mirror our three entities here over this construction line. So now we get this here. I'm gonna hit okay to that. And uh, and, and still everything is, is, is the same. Now we're just controlling everything you know, um, everything is symmetrical and everything is kind of working this way. But still we have three, dim four dim three dimensions that is controlling pretty much everything at this point. Now, let's go in and, um, and use the revolve. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna rotate it around here. Um, so now we end up with this shape, but it's probably pretty close to what you uh, want, Michael. Now I would add some fillets. I would add a fillet on the, oops, not on the face. Uh, I'll add a filler to this and to the inside here. And uh, let's maybe give that a five millimeter fillet. Maybe we make a 10, whatever, whatever, whatever we want in here. But given that anytime we want to make any changes to this, if we go into the sketch, um, we have a, a very strong, stable, 2D sketch controlled by this. And this is design intent. The customer calls and says, we need to change some things. Um, you have some very good, very uh, strong um, options to, to really modify, um, you know, everything to whatever you want and everything will kind of update uh, in, in the sense here. Now, that's how I would design this. Now I will show um, on my said there's also a hole coming through the side. But if you're fairly new to Fusion, uh, you might be like, okay, what the heck can I do here? You can only sketch on either a flat face or a plane. Right now, we don't have any flat faces really on this part, except the ends. But we do have the origin, and you can sketch on that origin. Even though that you really want the anything you're doing up on the part, you can actually sketch on that face in there. So if you start a 2D sketch in that face, and don't forget about that slice checkbox. You can actually do that so you can see the plane. Um, and now we could go in and sketch whatever we, we kind of uh, think would be, be kind of fun to do in here. Uh, finish the sketch, so now we have this oval, and then hit Q, and uh, we could now cut that shape. Through, um, through that there. It could be a circle, an oval, whatever you want, but placing that on the plane right there. I hope that that was, uh, <laughs> for the people who didn't like the way I did it uh, last week, I hope that was useful. Michael, I hope that was uh, useful to you. All right, so let's um, just, a. this is a recording, this is not live, it's Saturday. This will be posted tomorrow on Sunday, but I have some family things to do. 